Yeah, so uh, could you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Eric Mathis. I'm the author of Python Crash Course, um, best known in the community. Right, and uh, uh, how did you get into coding and how did you get into oh. Python? That's a long story. Uh, it's a short version is my father was a programmer in the 70s and 80s. Uh, so I learned to program as a kid. I went through like the basic C, uh, Java, Python progression um, as a teacher for a long time. Uh, and I always stopped programming when I could because I have gotten so much from it. And yeah, now I'm a writer and programmer all the time. Right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the book you have co-authored? Yeah, so I, I wrote Python Crash Course because in the early 2010s, I was trying to I wanted to give my students a resource that they could work at their own pace from. And all the books at the time were either aimed at people who already knew programming to some degree or kind of slowed down to you as a kid. And so I wrote a book that assumed nothing about what you already know, but never slowed down to you. Right. Worked quite well. Awesome. And yeah, you, you, you told me that you were also using Streamlit. Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, I really like Streamlit. So I feel like, I feel like programming is a democratizing skill. If you give people uh, the ability to write code that does what they want, then they can solve the problems that they, they see and recognize. Uh, and so when I started doing this work, you know, data analysis meant like understanding your data set fully, uh, learning how to parse it, doing a bunch of manual work, um, and tools like Streamlit that let you just write a few lines of code and get the value that you need for your data, um, and then share that with that. Really well. It's just incredibly powerful. Right. Um, you, you told me briefly about the app that you're building for analyzing and comparing newsletter. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, sure. Like, I write a weekly newsletter called Mostly Pythons. Uh, and comparing the cost of different newsletter platforms is hard because it depends on what your subscriber count is, how much people pay, how many of your subscribers are paid. Um, and each platform's pricing page does really tell you how much your newsletter will cost if you have to figure in those factors. So I feel it's a simple streamlit app that, um, that lets you input those factors and then gives you the cost break out or a variety of pottery. I'll tell you one bigger thing. So that's newsletter, that's we stuff. Um, what I'm more interested in right, is saying like personal finance. Like think about how many young people don't understand um, how to avoid predatory loans. So a simple uh, loan analysis tool. Um, I, I was a math teacher for a long time. I used to teach students to analyze the loans with spreadsheets uh, and I felt like any student who was willing to take on that project was more protected again uh, with yeah. predatory financial practices and so if I were teaching in the classroom today I would show students how to use Streamlit mm -hmm. and say like we build an app that analyzes the loan that you like get for a car or whatnot um, and that's incredibly powerful that's definitely very uh, powerful yeah so if you want to see what I write, I, the, the best way to follow me is um, go to most, mostlypython.com. I write a weekly newsletter. It's free. Uh, and it has information there about how to follow feed elsewhere. In. Oh, nice. That's a very good domain name. Yep. Thank you for being on the show. All right. Thank you.